Um, all right, we're going to talk to you today about chin-ups. So if you want to get stronger at chin-ups, there's two really, really important things that you need to keep in mind. One is being able to work in a full range of motion. So that means being able to come to a full hang at the bottom, kicking your feet up, then pulling yourself from there all the way up, chin over the bar. So some common mistakes that I see with this would be, uh, one would be kind of jumping off the floor to get going, getting that breath. Um, number two would be uh, only being able to pull yourself up kind of halfway and then coming back down and not really being able to get that top range of motion. And then C would be getting yourself all the way up over the bar, but then only coming down about halfway between your reps and only working that top range of motion. So if you're making any of these mistakes, what's going to happen is you're never going to get stronger in the bottom range of motion or the top range of motion if you're not actually consistently working with those ranges of motion. So make sure that you're choosing a band that is going to allow you to full hang and pull all the way up over the bar. So if you are a very tall person and you're using a band, you should be doing knee in the band so that when you come, when you start, you can actually be fully hanging. So you can see Alan's very tall person. So if he had his feet in the band, his feet would hit the floor before he could get all the way to the bottom with his arms. So be mindful of that when you're setting yourself up in the band. You use a band that will allow you to get full range of motion and make sure that you're doing knee in the band uh, if you need to, to be able to come to that full hang. So number two, what I want to talk about, is just making sure that you're getting enough reps in the run of a workout. So it's really important to try the harder reps. So, you know, if you want to try body weight or if you want to try a smaller band, do that on your first uh, kind of first set around the room. Um, maybe you get like two or three just really hard chin-ups, which is great. But if you do that every single time you get to your chin-ups, you're only going to end up getting maybe like 10-ish reps in the entire workout. So we need more than that if we're going to actually get better at it. We need lots of practice. So do that on your first round. When you get to your you know, round two, round three, round four, make sure that you're using a band that is big enough that's going to allow you to get five to ten solid full range of motion reps in a row. So um, going into like you know a bigger band each time you come around the room is perfectly okay. Again, think five to ten full range of motion reps in a row, and then you're going to end up getting you know maybe thirty or so, um, thirty plus chin ups in the run of a workout instead of only ten, and then we're sufficiently getting enough practice to actually get stronger. Yeah. <laughs>